Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everybody. Yes, I am laying down on my bed in the hotel room. I'm still here. I'm going to be here for about two weeks. So you're going to see me every day in this hotel room for the next two weeks-ish. So my name is Dr. Lulu, a.k.a. The Mama Trishan. What's going on? It is the end of my first day at work here. It was a good day. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, everything went okay as far as I'm concerned. I had a good day. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a pediatrician in my heart and in my soul. And anytime I'm seeing babies, they are lucky because <laughs> they get me. So the parents are lucky. The babies are lucky. The nurses are lucky because I'm a good doctor and I'm a fun doctor. But I'm talking to you right now as a parent coach, coach for parents of queers. Yes. And today I want us to talk about something that is that someone else brought to my attention earlier on today. A friend of mine asked me a question about essentially about whether um about the numbers, let me put it that way, about the numbers of LGBTQ plus kids. She wanted to know if I had any any reports or any way of showing her that or something to share with her that showed that there are lots of whatever the numbers of LGBTQ plus kids. So I said, I said she should Google it. So she came back and said something about maybe Google may not be kind of what she wants. She wants something more. I don't know, whatever. Either way, the bottom line is she wanted to know what the numbers are like in the United States of A where with regards to kids who are queer. So by the time I got back to her, she had shared some articles from the UK because she's based in the UK. And, um, but anyway, either way, I said, you know what, this is a good topic to talk about. So hi, if you're just joining me, my name is Dr. Lulu, AKA the Momatrician. I am the LGBTQ plus parents coach. Maybe I'll change you to the black LGBTQ plus parents coach. I don't know yet, but I'm trying to get that thing trademarked and they give me a hard time. So take a seat, matter of fact, take two, invite your friends, please, let's make this happen. I am going to be talking about, um, I think my title is, It Is Happening Whether You Like It or Not. I don't know. I think that's what I wrote. It is happening whether you like it or not. Yes. Your kids are gay, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Whoa, Dr. Lulu, what are you doing? What are you saying? Let's get, let's get jiggy with it. Hi, Mary. So I'm here to tell you that your kids are gay, whether you like it or not. Yes, and no, I haven't painted my nails yet. I'm letting them breathe a little bit. I took up my color yesterday. But yeah, and you know me, I'm very proud of myself. So I'm going to show my nails because God gave them to me because they're pretty. As they are, I just like to color them with my, um, my brand color. But I didn't even bring my brand color. I brought reds. So I'm going to be painting, painting them reds because it's, it's, it's December and it's the holidays. So don't you know that your kids are gay? whether you like it or not. And the best part of it is I signed a client today. And actually I had to go to work today to see patients in a clinic that I'm relieving somebody. I'm, I'm coming out of retirement because I can, because my license is clean and it's good. So they needed a doctor for two weeks and I was like, I'll do it for the right price. And you know, I, I don't come cheap. So um, I signed a client today. <laughs> she saw my post. If you don't know yet, I have a post on my page about my two for one for parents for Cyber Monday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do something. So for parents for Cyber Monday, for, if you sign up for six months, um, if you sign up for six months, you get my son. You know what? These kids... They don't call you, they don't text you, and then you go live and then they're calling and texting. All right, so I'm doing a Cyber Monday giveaway, which I'm going to probably extend it through the week because that lady bit, she signed up for she and her husband today. And no, I'm not cheap, but I'm also not expensive. I'm affordable. And affordable means affordable, that's it. You don't have to sign up, but maybe your friend will sign up. 
So tell someone about this. Please click like and click share and tell someone about this. But yes, yeah, so I am here in Corpus Christi helping out a doctor that needs a, a pediatrician. And I came and I loved it. That was so good. So I'm just going to come live to tell you that whether you like it or whether your kids are gay. Now, I like that title because it makes you say, what? What are you talking about, Willis? The reason I'm saying that, what you don't, 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 don't calm down, hear me out. Your kids are gay. The study that was done in 2016 showed that 48 percent, hmm? yeah, 48 percent of the of the teens of the youth in 2016. Only 48% of the youth that were surveyed were straight. <laughs> yes! Only click like and click share. Do me a favor. Click like and click share. And then, where are my manners? Type in the comment section if you're watching this live or if you're watching this on the replay. I told you that I'm going to go live every day till the end of the year until I finish my book over there. That's my book. It's over there. I'm going to go live every day. So I'm always going to come up with something to talk to you guys about. But today, first of all, I want to celebrate that I, I had a client that signed today. She signed for her and her husband. So if you and your spouse are looking for a good, forget that, a great parent coach, especially if you're worried about your child has come out as gay, look no further. So that one lady signed up today. I'm so excited. We're not going to start until I finish, though, because I, I need to be able to be home. But I'm just excited that she signed up. So it's my six-month program. You can sign up for one year if you like. But the six-month program, we're doing 50% off, buy one, get one free kind of thing. So I'm excited. I'm excited. But what I'm, what I'm here to tell you is that your child is likely to be gay. Let me talk about your kid who hangs out with other gay kids. Can we talk about that for a minute? Type in the comment section if you think I should talk about that. Please type, say yes. And please don't forget to click like and click share. Type yes in the comment section if you think I should talk about the fact that your kids are hanging out with gay kids. Let's talk about that. Let's explore that for a minute. Because enough of you parents, yes, you, uh-uh, mm-mm, -uh, you. Enough of you parents think that your child hanging out with gay kids is what makes them gay. Felicia and Arrington, sis, and I know, and okay, first of all, let me say, let me say, first of all, I'm using the word gay to represent all the kids in the LGBT plus community because it's just easier to say gay, okay? All right. That said, the majority of adults who are LGBTQ+, plus are bisexual, okay? But, but I'm going to use gay loosely to, to, because it's just easier for me. That's it. But that's representing all the kids in the LGBTQ plus space. And in the African-American community, they just say gay. <laughs> they just can't be, but they just say gay. So hi, Yolanda. Welcome to the party. So I'm here to tell you that your child is more than 50%. <laughs> there's a there's a more than 50% chance that your child is gay. Now, let's talk a little bit about your child hanging out with queer kids. So, the kids, you are an average of the five people that you hang out with. One. Two. Most kids find their tribe. Your child will find their tribe. Your child is more likely to hang out with kids who are gay because they are gay. <laughs> Dr. Lulu, what? Yeah, yeah. Your kids are most likely hanging out with gay kids or queer kids because they are queer. I had a lady in my DM today. 
She says she swears that her child is, that all of her child's friends are queer. So she doesn't believe her child is queer. She doesn't believe that her child is queer. Even though she said literally, is what she said. She said literally all of his friends are queer. But I don't think he's really queer. Y'all be, y'all be tripping me up with my, with your messages and my DM. She said, I just don't think he's, I don't think that's, I don't think it's, it's who he is. Really? You don't think it's who he is? Of all the people your child can hang out with, your child chooses to hang out with the queer kids and tells you that they're queer, but you don't believe it. So let's, can we tackle that for a minute? Why don't you believe it? What do you not believe? Is it that your child is queer or that you are a parent of a queer child? Mm -hmm. It's a thing. So like I said yesterday, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not know. It's okay to not understand. I get it. I get it. It's completely okay. However, the truth is the truth. If little Junior has always been effeminate, if little Boniqua has always been kind of gangster, you know, like a tomboy, you already kind of sort of knew. And so now your child comes out to you and then you're like, it's not true. Her child actually came out to her. Her child actually only hangs out with queer kids. And yet she was like, I just don't think he's who he is. And then she said, literally all his friends are queer. All his friends, well, she said LGBTQ+. Literally all his friends are LGBTQ+. So if you're just joining me, my name is Dr. Lulu. I'm in my hotel room. I'm going to be here for the next two weeks. So you will see me in this room for the next two weeks. I'm here to tell you that your child is very, 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 more than 50% chance likely to be gay. The one child that you already suspect is gay. Yeah, that one. The one child that's hanging out with the gays. Yeah, that one. And so do me a favor. Click like and click share. Share some love with your sister because I'm going to be all up in your face for the next, till the end of the month, till the end of the year. I'm going to come up and I'm going to share something every single day from my Facebook page posts or just from my clients. And if you don't know yet, I just told everyone else that came before you that I had a client sign today for my two for one. So what are you waiting for? Click like and click share and sign up. But the study that was done in 2016 showed that 52% of kids today are not straight. I don't make the numbers. I just sh share them. That's one. Number two, if your child, if all of your child's friends are gay, please, madam, <laughs> your child is gay until proven otherwise. If your child is curious about the gays, if your child is asking questions, about, your gay, about their gay uncle or your gay uncle, if your child is asking questions about the LGBTQ plus community, I need you to know what to say to your child. I don't know what your child is going to ask you, but I need you to give affirming responses because it's very likely that your child is gay or discovering that they're gay or discovering that they're bi or discovering that they're trans. Tomorrow we'll talk about the ways your kid comes out to you. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we'll talk about the ways your kids come out to you. The different ways kids come out. Thank you for that love, Katie. Tomorrow we'll talk, up, we'll talk about the different ways your kids come out to you. Because a lot of us parents already suspect that our kids are queer. But for some reason, 
when they come out to you, you don't believe it. And so my question remains forever and ever. What are you making their coming out mean about you? Someone please type that for me. Since nobody's responding to me, asking y'all to click like and click share. Someone please type this question down for me. And if you don't want to type it, that's okay too. I'll type it. I ain't even, it's not a problem for me when I'm done with my talk. What are you making your child's queerness mean about you? If your child's friends, like that lady said, are literally all LGBTQ+, you should ask yourself why. Why will your child hang out with the misfits of the society? Why will your child hang out with the underdogs, with the sexually minor? Why will your child hang out with the people that you hate? <laughs> because a lot of us hate them. I'm just going to come out and say it. Why will your child want to hang out with people that your church thinks are going to go to hell? Why will your child want to hang out with people that they know that you do not approve of? Why would anybody want to do that? Hmm. Because they're gay? <laughs> and so, my call to action today is, first of all, take advantage of my two-for-one um, Cyber Monday deal. So sign up two parents for the price of one. If you sign up for the six-month program, no, it's not expensive. It's affordable. That's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, that's my story and I'm, stick, and I'm sticking to it. What else? Um, and then ask yourself that question. Why do you think your kids are hanging out with the gay kids? Why? If you can answer, answer that question for yourself, half of your problems will be over. And then if you'd like a deeper dive into why you feel this way, into why your heart aches so much when your kid came out, holla at you, girl. If you want someone to help hold your hand as you stumble, because I don't take that lightly, I understand fully how painful it can be, how difficult it can be, how unbelievable it can be when you realize that your child is gay. It's a thing. It's very scary for some people. I had a guy who would attempted suicide. Mm-hmm. A black man. Because his child is gay. I think he's his only child. You don't need to kill yourself. You need to send me a DM. So my DMs are open. First of all, I have the two-for-one deal for parents for Cyber Monday. If you sign up for the six-month program, if you sign up both parents, you get the price of one. Number two, I wanted to celebrate that I have a client that just signed up. So you need to hurry up and sign up yourself because I know you need to talk to somebody. And then your homework is to ask yourself, why do you think your kids are hanging out with the LGBTQ plus kids? Simple question. Simple question. If you can figure out why, let's talk. If you cannot figure out why, let's talk. Either way, let's talk. All right, so my name is Dr. Lulu, a.k.a. The Momatrician. I'm the LGBTQ plus parent coach. I'm trying to trademark that name. They give me a hard time. And I'm going to come back tomorrow with another thing in the queer world. I don't know what, but we'll figure out something. Until then, be nice to yourself and each other. That's what Ellen says, right? For me, until then, love on your kid and hug on your kid because remember, your child is waiting. Okay? Toodles. Bye. Hey, share this video.